you guys, it's Christina Salina reporting from Two Parts of the World. And today we're coming at you with another diagramming exercise. Um, we're going to do my style in Frankfurt. Before we start this video, I just want to point out that my eyes look like this because it's allergy season. I have not been crying or smoking anything. Okay, just to clarify. <laughs> So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, so when I visited, um, when I visited Selena with my mom a couple years ago, or maybe three years ago now, I don't remember. Um, two and a half years ago, uh, we also visited um, like Frankfurt, uh, Germany, and she brought us to this like really cool. Um, mall that was like really inspiring and I, I really wish we saw it during the day because we, we got there pretty late. So this was actually part of a bigger like Euro trip with uh, my mom and with a good friend of mine, Jamie. Uh, so we were actually only in Frankfurt for like the day. Um, so we couldn't really like see that much except for this, except for this mall and except for a bar. We also saw a cathedral and like the, the old city, like the, the historical part. So this, this shopping mall is like located in the like pedestrian zone of a city. So I feel like this is kind of like a new, newer like phenomenon in Germany where they're actually putting like malls within like the shopping areas. Usually you just have all the shops like facing the street. Um, so I think from the outside it's like it's impressive, but it's not so like noticeable because it's like the the really cool structural part is like above street level. So so when you're like walking down the street, you wouldn't really see that this is a thing. Um, and then when you go inside, it's like this really, really cool space, like and it really draws you up through the mall, which I think is like a really cool way where like architecture can help marketing is like when you go in, you want to go up because of the like the roof is glass and it goes like this so you kind of want to go up and experience it and like you can see from the bottom all the way to the top mm -hmm. so actually the reason why i found out so i'm not from frankfurt and i've actually spent very little time in frankfurt because where like the part of the city that i live in in Wiesbaden, it's like not a really good connection to frankfurt so i'd have to go like i live like towards frankfurt but i would have to like take a train to like Wiesbaden and then take a train to frankfurt which is like kind of a longer trip so in Drexel, actually, we had the opportunity to study like any building we wanted. And for some reason, I was like, because I was studying like abroad, basically, like in a different country, I was really drawn to architecture back home because I'm like, well, this wasn't like such a big interest of mine growing up. So I didn't really pay so much attention to it. But now that I'm studying it, I'm like, oh, I want to see like different buildings in my area like that I can also go visit. Um, this is like actually a group project and like my friend and I, we, um, we worked on this building and we just started to like, we had to make like a booklet of it. And it was also like, you had to look at the reviews and like, look at like also how it functions and stuff. So if you see like the, the first like hole that goes like from the facade to the top, there was like an issue with that because the, if it snowed, all the snow, like the entrance is right below that hole. So all the snow would go whoop, like a slide and like all the water as well. It was like a funnel to like pour on the people there. I feel like they had to do like a additional structure there, like additional like fencing or something and like gutters to uh, fix that problem. Um, and also somebody like made a review and was like, this is the asshole of Frankfurt. And like, we were like, oh, it does kind of look like an asshole. <laughs> So, I mean, it's all like, it's all in the eye of the beholder. Like, you can either think it's like a beautiful structure or it kind of looks like a butthole. I don't know. Make your comment below, let us know what it is. <laughs> I think it was yeah. a beautiful structure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like all of our diagramming videos, if you haven't seen them, I'll link somewhere down or up here other videos that you can watch. We're going to not talk about this. Well, we've obviously been to the building together, but we never talked about it like in terms of diagram or anything and like especially for a while. So we're going to diagram without looking at each other's work and then get back together and, you know, discuss what we found out. See you in a minute.
Um, okay, so the first diagram I have is this one. It looks a bit weird because I'm really bad at drawing and I'm going to say this every single video. So the black and the arrows are like the forces. So this is in section. So these are like the forces, um, like the inorganic forces of the city. So like you have like the street front, you have like the back of the site, and then you have the ground and everything has to be pretty rectiline rectilinear. Everything has to be pretty rectilinear. Oh my god, I can't say that word. Rectilinear? Like how it looks like a rectum? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Anyways, rectum linear. No, just kidding. <laughs> rectum linear. So, That's good. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, so, and then the inside is like a really organic design, which uh, the architect fooks us. They're like really, really pop, like known for this kind of design. And they're like really big international firm that always kind of does like these really like crazy and actually like each glass piece in the glass is like different like it's not just like one piece of glass that they went and put everywhere like each shape is slightly different because it is like such a crazy shape so each glass had to be cut different every time anyway so that's that one this is like the circulation in the building um and basically when you come in there's an escalator that takes you all the way to the top or almost to the top I think I don't remember and there's like a secondary escalator that just takes you up one so the like design intent like what the architects wanted you to do is to go all the way up and like see like the really cool structure and it also takes people like you know throughout the building rather than just to the store they need and back money 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 <laughs> so you're like oh I want to go in there oh I want to go in there yeah <laughs> pretty smart so this is it yeah it is it is so this one is not really a diagram I guess it's a sketch but I thought it like brought this idea um, across better so you have like a little person down here and a little person up on the sixth floor and they can see each other which is also pretty interesting because like I love sitting at malls and just watching people um, but also this person can like see the structure so they're obviously drawn to go up this escalator to like get there like that's like the goal of like when you come in the building you're like I want to be up there so I think it's a really good design in that sense yeah not creepy at all you just like watching people I like and, watching um, people it's a you know thing they, <laughs> you know what they say so the reason why she draws little people is because she's a little person <laughs> <laughs> not that <Anyway>. little <laughs> I'm an average human height for a woman yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just abnormal. Okay. <laughs> so, I was actually worried that um, we were doing the same diagram, but we actually really did it, <laughs> which was no. good. <laughs> yeah. So, here it is. Um, it's a section diagram. So, this is how the, the rectum <laughs> is cutting through the building. And um, so I saw this building at night, but I would have really, really, really loved to see it during the day because as like the sun, you know, passes by, like from the morning till evening, like it will hit like through. Now I don't, now I don't know what else to call it except her rectum. Now <laughs> it will hit this glass um, structure at different angles throughout the day, lighting different areas while well, keeping actually keeping the whole building lit like throughout the day mm -hmm. um which i think is really nice and the fact that the glass is like pretty much like in a faceted way i think that that like the light will bounce off and reflect like differently and it will and it's really pretty like throughout different seasons it's really pretty as in like it's really pretty in my head because i haven't seen it um and <laughs> next to it is uh the escalators uh so that's like the main circulation component and just like selena was talking about earlier um, like it really, well, having these two next to each other, you know, like you are drawn up through the space. And I think that since this is the focal point and the circulation's right next to it, like that's how, you know, it all comes together to draw you up. <clears throat> that's it. Yeah. And I think also something that's really unique about the fact that this is a mall, like it's a pretty big building. I think usually when you go into malls, it's like, have you ever gone like in a mall and then like while it's daytime you come out and it's suddenly nighttime but you didn't notice because you were indoors? <laughs> yeah. Like I feel like that's so like disorienting. Um, and, yeah. Like whoa, did I really shop that long? <laughs> <laughs> um, but like here you're still like somehow connected to the outdoors and somehow still connected to your surroundings, which I think is really nice. Yeah. 
Well, I guess we're gonna have to go back for you to like see it in the daytime sometime. I guess so. And for and for. Guess you gotta visit me. <laughs> After Corona. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of it, please hit subscribe and drop a comment below if to let us know if, you know, if you think it looks like a rectum or, <laughs> or a glass structure or just like some beautiful structure. Yeah, it's beautiful. Come on. It's it doesn't beautiful. look like a rectum. <laughs> <laughs> now the name's just stuck though. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sticks. It sticks. <laughs> like cheeks. All right, so. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>